we're going to revisit one of the most thrilling crossover events in TV history, the 2015 collaboration between Law and Order, SVU and Chicago PD, that featured a serial killer based on Ted Bundy. If you're a fan of crime dramas, you probably know these two shows very well. Law and Order, SVU is the longest running primetime drama series in U.S. history with 24 seasons and counting. It follows the cases of the Special Victims Unit, a dedicated team of detectives who investigate crimes of sexual assault, child abuse, and domestic violence in New York City. Chicago PD is a spin-off of Chicago Fire, and it focuses on the Intelligence Unit, a group of elite cops who fight organized crime, drug trafficking, and high-profile murders in Chicago. These two shows have crossed over several times, but none more memorable than the 2015 event that spanned two episodes, Number of Rats on Chicago PD, and Daydream Believer on SVU. The plot involved a serial killer named Gregory Yates, who was based on Ted Bundy, one of the most notorious serial killers in American history. Bundy was known for his charm, intelligence, and brutality. He confessed to killing at least 30 women across several states in the 1970s, but some experts believe he may have killed more than 100. He escaped from prison twice and was eventually executed in 1989. In the crossover event, Yates was played by Dallas Roberts, who did a chilling performance as a psychopathic murderer. He targeted young women who worked as nurses or medical students, and he used various disguises and ruses to lure them into his trap. He would then rape and kill them, and sometimes apply green nail polish to their fingers as a signature. He also burned some of his victims' bodies or buried them in shallow graves. The crossover began when a body was found in Chicago that matched the M.O. of a cold case that SVU's Captain Olivia Benson had worked on 10 years ago in New York. She traveled to Chicago with her partner Detective Finn Tuchuola to join forces with Chicago PD, as Sergeant Hank Voigt and his team. Together, they tracked down Yates, who had kidnapped and killed one of Voigt's colleagues, Nadia Dakotis. They followed him to New York, where they engaged in a tense cat and mouse game with him until they finally caught him and brought him to justice. The crossover was not only thrilling, but also emotional as it showed the bond between the two teams and their dedication to their work. It also hinted at a possible romance between Benson and Voight, who had shared some chemistry in previous crossovers. However, according to SVU's showrunner at the time, Warren Light, there were many obstacles that prevented them from getting together too. He said that they had different views on police work as Voight was more willing to bend the rules and use violence than Benson. He also said that the distance between them was too great as they both had busy lives and responsibilities in their own cities. So what do you think? Did you enjoy the crossover event? Do you wish Benson and Voight had hooked up? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for listening, and stay tuned for more juicy gossip and news from Hollywood.